This is a frequently asked question from Math 1530 Probability and Statistics in Module 4. During a certain week, the mean price of gasoline was 2.708 per gallon. A random sample of 34 gas stations is drawn from this population. What is the probability that the mean price for the sample was between 2.695 and 2.729 that week? Assume that the population standard deviation is 0 .048. Here's the solution. We want to find the probability that the sample mean, I'm going to underline sample mean, is between 2.695 and 2.729. We can use the central limit theorem since we're looking at the distribution of the sample mean and we have a sufficient sample size. Our sample size is 34, which is larger than 30. This means we can use the normal distribution to find this probability. I have drawn the bell curve, the normal bell curve here, and I have labeled what we were given. We were given that the mean of the population was 2.708 and remember that the mean for the sample mean is the same as the population mean. And the standard deviation for the sample mean is the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So here I've drawn the picture of the area that we're interested in. The lower limit is 2.695 the upper limit is 2.729. So this is the area under the bell curve that we're interested in. This area represents this probability. Therefore, we can use our calculator, the normal CDF function, to find this area. So let's go ahead and do that together. I'm going to hit second distribution normal CDF, the lower limit is 2.695, the upper limit is 2.729, the mean is 2.708, and the standard deviation is 0 .048 divided by the square root of 34. Now notice you can do this division right here within the function and I would suggest that you do that to avoid rounding error. And we go down and hit paste, hit enter, and when we round to four decimal places we end up with 0.9375. So we can interpret this as about 94% of the samples of 34 gas stations that week will have a mean price between 2.695 and 2.729. I hope this example helps everyone. Good luck.